Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on Supporting Configuration Management Part 2. Today I'm going to be talking about backups, and then we will conclude with a brief discussion on Bring Your Own Device. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. I will begin by talking about backups. Backups are an essential part of any configuration management system. That's because small changes in a network device's configuration can introduce unexpected consequences into that network. In addition, there is always the possibility of a failure of a key component which can lead to the loss of data or functionality. Backups play a key role in recovering from unexpected consequences or from the failure of a key component. Backup schedules must be implemented and periodic tests should be conducted to ensure that the backup process is working. There's nothing worse than installing a backup and finding out that you really backed up nothing. There are three basic types of backups. There is the full backup. All data on the targeted system is backed up. This is the slowest backup method with the highest storage requirements, but it does lead to the fastest recovery method. When recovering using a full backup, it only requires the last full backup file. Then there's the incremental backup. With this type, only new or modified files are backed up. This is the fastest backup method with the lowest storage requirements, but it also leads to the slowest recovery method. The recovery process with incremental backups requires the last full backup file in all of the incremental backup files. The middle ground is the differential backup. Only data that has changed since the last full backup is saved. The time to backup is moderate, and it requires a moderate amount of storage but it also is the middle ground on the length of time for recovery. The recovery process requires the last full backup file and the last differential backup file. Something else that needs to be backed up are your configuration files of network devices. Once a network device has been configured and it's operating as expected, a backup of the configuration files and operating system should be done. This helps to speed up the recovery time in cases of equipment failure or when a change to the configuration has introduced unexpected consequences. Having the configuration file backups on hand means that you don't need to manually input it to recover in these situations. Now let's move on to bring your own device. BYOD policies or bring your own device policies allow employees to use their own personal devices on an organization's network. While the employees are happy that they get to use their favorite IT devices on the corporate network, IT departments aren't quite as happy about it. Why? IT departments are tasked with keeping a network safe, yet they have very little control over the devices that employees bring in. In some cases, Bring your own device policies have led to the introduction of malware into an organization's network environment. This makes them very unhappy. They can implement network admission control measures, or NAC measures, in an effort to reduce the risk associated with BYOD policies and to introduce configuration management to those devices. Network admission control is a Cisco process. Microsoft uses a similar process, but it's called Network Access Protection, or NAP. While their names may be different, they still function in the same way. NAC includes more than just authenticating users and devices on the network. All of the devices that are requesting access to network resources are screened for the type of device that it is, the operating system that's used, including any updates that are present. NAC will also check for security software, making sure that it's up to date. NAC can also check for the presence of malware or other security vulnerabilities. In an advanced setup, if the device requesting the connection has been rejected, the device is then redirected to a remediation server, which attempts to resolve the known issues. 
So if the security software is out of date, the remediation server may try and bring it up to date and then allow that device to connect to the corporate network. That concludes this session on Supporting Configuration Management Part 2. I talked about backups and we concluded with a brief discussion on Bring Your Own Device. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I hope to do another one soon.